Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I pack inside my carry-on. So the carry-on I have from today is one of the most beautiful carry-ons I've ever seen. I love using this. Although I don't use it too often because I'm scared it's going to get dirty. It is, after all, a beautiful off-white color, so it could get stained pretty easy. Although I do take care of my stuff, you never know. Especially when you travel, a lot of things can go wrong. So as much as possible, I only use this for short haul trips or trips where I know it's not going to get messy. What I also really like about this carry-on is its convenience and the way it was designed. So when you get to your hotel room, you can easily just plop it over the bag holder or the table and you just unzip this part and you can get all the stuff out as opposed to the regular carry-ons where it splits in half and then you have to have a really big space or in case you need to take out your laptop at security check, you need to open the whole bag up. This one, I can store all the essentials in this zipper over here so I can easily take it out as I need them and it just saves space when you're in your hotel room. So let's see what's inside my carry-on right now. In this top part, I usually put in the things that I will grab for the most. So here I have my earphones, I have my power bag, I have baby wipes in case things get messy, I have my sunglasses. These ones are from Sunny's. I don't usually like to travel with my expensive sunglasses, especially when I'm going to the beach because it's just gonna get scratched or it's just gonna get lost. So I love the sunny sunglasses because they're very affordable and I can change them up depending on my trip. So if I'm going to the beach, I'll buy a different kind of design. If I'm going to like a colder climate, I'll buy a different kind of design and it's not so hard on my wallet. And this Sunny's case I got from Korea. I got it for really, really cheap. I can't exactly remember how much I got it for, but I've been using this for years now, maybe about three to four years and it's been serving me really, really well. Another thing that's in here is, of course, this Fora Lepage passport holder. This was actually gifted to me by Fora Lepage and it was because they knew that I loved writing. So inside this thing was actually a notebook, but I have replaced it now with my passport. So it doesn't fall because I inserted it into the sleeve here. And I have a ball pen because as you know, when you're traveling, you need your ball pen. And I have all of my frequent flyer cards over here. So it's really convenient. And if you want, you could even store your cell phone here if it fits. It does not fit an iPhone 7 Plus, which is what I'm using currently. But a smaller version of an iPhone will fit in this. And you can also store in your cash. So when you're walking around the airport, all you need to carry is this, and then you can keep everything else in your hand carry. And you don't need to keep grabbing on your backpack or ruffling through your bag because all the essentials that you need at the airport are in this thing. Another thing that's in here is of course my trusty eye mask. This one is silk, so I know it's not gonna give me any wrinkles. And this one I just got from SM Accessories a few months ago. And it's very, very soft. I've been really, really loving using this, even when I'm here in Cebu. And if you guys watched my video on travel essentials, then you'll know that this is something that I always travel with. They are hotel slippers or disposable slippers because usually when I go travel, especially to long haul flights, I'm usually in rubber shoes or close shoes or boots. And it's hard to always put them back on, especially when it's late at night and you're trying to sleep and you wanna to go to the bathroom. It's just such a hassle to always have to tie your shoelace again and take it off again. So I always carry a pack of hotel slippers just so that it's easier for me to slip my feet in, go to the bathroom, and then if I don't wanna use it anymore, then I just leave it on the plane and it's totally fine. So we are now moving forward to the second compartment, the bigger compartment of this carry-on. And as you can see, nothing has to move or flip out. You can easily access all of your things. So the first thing in here is of course my laptop. This case I got from Amsterdam. It was a little bit on the pricey side, but it is genuine leather and it is very, very sturdy. So I've had this for 
maybe close to a year now and I don't regret buying it because it's aging pretty well. As with normal genuine leather, the more it ages, it looks really cool and I feel like even if I change laptops in the future, I won't need to change my laptop sleeve because it's a classic design. So this is from Oh My Bag Amsterdam. It was handmade in India and designed in Amsterdam. Inside is my laptop. And actually that's the only thing in here. I like this because it's very sleek and it doesn't take up too much room inside my hand carry. Another thing that I have in here is of course my trusty camera. This is my camera. It's covered protectively in a Coleman, I don't know what you call this, like a neoprene cover. And I'm not exactly sure if this is what it's for. Slater just actually got this for me and I've been using it ever since. It's kind of like a lunchbox, like a Japanese bento box. This is where I keep my trusty camera. Ta-da! And I always travel with this. Another thing that's in here is my neck pillow. This one is from Muji. Now, if you guys like the normal neck pillows that you sleep with like this, I wouldn't recommend this Muji one because you close it using this clasp over here and it's kind of loose. It kind of moves around. So like, I don't know, it doesn't really hold up my neck when I sleep on the plane, but I like this because I can open it up and I can just sleep like this. I also like it because when I'm sleeping, my lower back tends to hurt. So I put this under my knees just to relax that portion of my back a little bit and it really eases the tension. Another thing inside my carry-on is this blue pillow over here. You can use it as a pillow, but if you unzip it, it is actually a blanket. So it's this really, really big blanket that's gonna keep you cozy throughout your long haul flight. It's really warm. I think it's made of fleece and it's super duper soft. So I love cuddling up with this one. Usually the blankets that they give you on airplanes aren't that comfortable, but this one really makes me feel cozy and comfortable throughout my flight. And last but not the least, inside my carry-on is my makeup kit slash skincare kit. And this is a pouch that I got from Estee Lauder. Let me show you what's inside. Of course, I have my facial mist because I like to keep my face hydrated throughout the flight. So I reapply this maybe 10 to 20 times while I'm on flight during long haul flights. Not that I'm one hour long, 20 times I'm going to apply it. But siguro, once every two hours, I spritz this on. And it just really makes my skin feel refreshed and rehydrated. Especially because this one from Caudalie sort of gives you a minty, peppermint, cooling feeling. So it really feels like malamig yung face mo. I also like to keep my serums in here. This one is the Renewal Oil from La Mer. And when I travel, I don't like to bring so many things with me. I don't want to bring a toner, an essence, a lotion, a serum, and then a moisturizer. That's five things. I only bring this one oil and it keeps my skin feeling hydrated throughout the entire flight. I know it's a bit much when you put oil, especially when you live in a tropical country, and it feels very sticky and not very pleasant but when you're in flight the air in the plane can get really dry so this really helps alleviate that discomfort makeup wipes from Biore 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 I don't know I have some sanitary pads just in case I have eye drops because my eyes tend to get very very sensitive Laneige lip sleeping mask which I talked about previously I love this product especially when I'm in flight and my lips get super chapped especially when I'm traveling to colder countries this thing is a miracle it smells really really good like strawberry candy or chewing gum. I put it on and instantly my lips feel very smooth and relaxed. It smells really good. And when I wake up after a nap, voila, all the dry skin on my lips is gone. It just feels, it's, I feel like it's a miracle lip product. I also have my Jo Malone Earl Grey and Cucumber Cologne in this travel size over here because you don't know what food they're gonna serve on the plane. Baha, it's like curry and you're gonna end up 
smelling really bad after. So I like to pack a perfume with me so that also when I land, I feel very fresh, right? I don't have any powder with me, but I do have this Maybelline Master Strobing Stick. I love applying highlighter with bare skin. It just makes you look like you're naturally glowy, if, even if you don't have any makeup on. This hand cream. This is from Welda and it comes in like an aluminum case but it ripped and I don't want to waste any product because I feel like this lotion is really really good so I put tape all over it that's what the silver thing over here is but this one is from Welda it smells really good and it's a hand cream that when you apply it doesn't leave your hands feeling like sticky it leaves your hands feeling powdery and dry after so I love love this hand cream and of course, I have, last but not the least, these three hair ties. You know when you're on the plane or when you're traveling and you have long hair, you always tend to lose your hair ties. So I always pack a lot because I lose and leave mine everywhere, anywhere and everywhere. So at least I have spare. All right guys, those are all the things that you will find inside my carry-on. What's inside your carry-on? I'm so curious. Did I miss anything? Are there any tips that you can share with me to help me in my travels? Please let me know by leaving a comment down below. I'd love to read them and chat with you guys. And if you like this video, then I hope you remember to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.